The relationship we talk about words. Sub subject reverb your teacher one hand one hand English English Academy <laughs> Learners, welcome to English Academy. How are you today? You're listening to another episode of Dapet School on Air for Grade 4 English. I am Ms. Saral Ann F. Banyaga, your teacher for today's lesson. Sit back and relax, for I'll be giving you an exciting lesson that you'll surely enjoy. Oh yeah! Before we start... Have you found a convenient spot at home where you can clearly hear our broadcast? Yes, ma'am! Have you set your mind and heart for another enjoyable day with the English subject? Yes, ma'am! Are you excited to learn about our new lesson today? Yay! If all of your answers are resounding yes, then you are most definitely ready! Alright! That's a great start! Now, to refresh your mind, let us have a brief review of our previous lesson. I'll be asking you some questions and then you'll have 5 seconds to think of the answer. If you hear the bell rings, it means your time is up. Ready for our first question? Yay! Alright! First question. What are the words or phrases that directly define an unfamiliar word in a sentence? What is the answer? Yes, you're right! The correct answer is definition clues. Second question. These are the words in the form of examples provided to help you understand the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Is your answer exemplification clues? Oh, yeah! You are correct! Let's now proceed to the third question. These are hints that the author gives to help the reader define a difficult or unfamiliar word. The answer will be... Very good! It's context clues! Were you able to get all the correct answers? Yay! If yes, let me hear you shout, Hooray! 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 Wow! You are so full of enthusiasm! That goes to show that you are ready for an exciting lesson. Are you now ready to lend me your ears? Yay! It's good to hear that. Because you are expected to use clear, coherent sentences using kinds of nouns. Mass nouns and count nouns. Possessive nouns. Collective nouns at the end of this exciting lesson. Oh yeah! Since the COVID-19 pandemic has required you youngsters to stay and study at home, do you miss the school? Yes, ma'am! Do you miss your friends and your teachers? Yes, ma'am! How many friends do you have? Can you count them? Yes, ma'am! Do you miss your classroom? Yes, ma'am! Do you miss those times when you were grouped during activities? Yes, ma'am! I know! You all want to be in an actual classroom already. But since we cannot risk your health by coming to school, let's concentrate on your improvised learning areas at home. Look around you! What do you see? 
Of course, you see many things. You may even see people since you are with your families. Now, I want you to grab your pens and notebooks. List down everything that you see as you sit on your comfortable space. Can you do that for me? Yay! That's perfect then! I'll be giving you one minute to list down everything that you see. Timer starts now. Oops! Ball pens up! This time, I want you to read the words aloud. Ready? Go! Wow! You were able to write many words. You all deserve a cheer! Hooray! You may be wondering why I ask you to write the things and the people that you see. Some of you may have written pencil, ball pen, module, notebook, table, chair, curtain, window, flowers, your mother, your father, sister, or brother. What makes these words the same? Can you guess? Bravo! They are all names. Isn't it amazing that we can tell the name of everything that we see? People, places, things, animals, and events have their names. Some names show possession. Some represent a group. Some can be counted and some cannot. Come and let us work on this new adventure. Are you ready with your pens and notebooks? Yay! Let's go! Here is your first quest. Open your module on page 3. Complete the sentences and write the correct nouns on your notebook. Ready? Yay! First, Uncle Blanc Pancit is delicious. Yes, the correct answer is Joel's. Let's move on the second sentence. We usually work in blank during activities. Did you answer the word group? That is correct. Let us have the third sentence. I bought a new blank. You got it right if your answer is pencil. And now, let us go to the fourth sentence. Papa asked for another cup of blank. Did you write the word rice? If yes, then you are correct. Were you able to get four correct answers? Oh, yeah! Therefore, give yourselves four claps. To those who got three, give yourselves three claps. To those who got two, give yourselves two claps. While those who got one, tap your left shoulder and say, I will do better next time. Let us have some more quests. Shout, I am ready if you do. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. 
I want you to listen very attentively as I read the story entitled Uncle Joel's Pancit by Cyril Franz S. Paterter. Later on, I will ask you a question after we read this story. You will also be tasked to identify the nouns used in the text, so make sure that you have with you your pen and paper so you could take notes. Is that clear, learners? Yes, ma'am! Very well! Here we go! Uncle Joel owns a canteen near the plaza. Our group usually goes there after class to have some snack. Uncle Joel's pancit is one of the most delicious meals we have in town. Aside from the pancit, his fried rice in a bowl tastes good as well. No wonder why his food is so loved by the crowd. First question, where does the group eat after class? A. At Uncle Jonah's canteen? B. At Uncle Joel's canteen? C. At their house? The answer is letter B. At Uncle Joel's canteen. What are the nouns used in this story? Precisely! The nouns are Joel, Plaza, Group, Canteen, Pancit, Town, Rice, Crowd, Bowl, Food, and the Snack. Have you found all the nouns in this story? Yay! Good job! You are on the right track. Now, what kind of nouns do you think they are? First, let's discuss possessive nouns. What is a possessive noun? Brilliant! A possessive noun shows ownership or possession. The name Uncle Joel's is a possessive noun. How is that? It's because in a possessive noun, we add an apostrophe to show that the noun next to it is owned by that noun. Just like in the words, Uncle Joel's Pancit. Uncle Joel is the owner of the Pancit or the one who cooks Pancit. So we added an apostrophe to the noun Joel to show possession. Can you provide some examples? Oh, yeah! Bravo! Just like your first task, where I ask you to write everything that you see from where you are while listening. Some example you may have are the following. Mother's plants, father's chairs, your brother's toys, and others. What are the possessive nouns from these examples? You're right! The possessive nouns are mothers, fathers, and brothers. What do they mean? Impressive! This only suggests that mother owns the plants, fathers own the chair or the seat, and brother owns the toys. Very easy to identify, right? Yes, ma'am! Is specifically if you know the punctuation mark used to show possession. What do we call it again? Very good! It's an apostrophe. Great job, grade 4! Yay! How about the words canteen, bowl, plaza, and town? What kind of nouns are they? That's it! They're called count nouns. Why are they called count nouns? Right! It's because these nouns can be counted individually. Can you provide your own examples? Oh, yeah! Nice one! Your pens, notebooks, envelopes, or table are all count nouns. You're doing great, learners! Yay! What is the opposite of count nouns? Correct! We call uncountable nouns as mouse nouns. Rice, food, 
snack, and pansit are examples of mass nouns. We call them as such because they are nouns that cannot be counted and will need counters to know their quantity. Wait, are there examples that you can think of? You're all bright! Examples could be your hair, sand, water, milk, or grass. Wow! You continue to amaze me, kids! Now, let's proceed to the last kind of noun that we will be discussing today. The collective noun. On the text that I've read to you a while ago, group and crowd are examples of collective nouns. Can you guess why we call them collective? Correct! These are words or nouns that represent a group of people, things, or animals. Any other examples? Good guess! Common examples are team of players, a school of fish, or a bouquet of flowers. See? We've learned a lot today, and learning is fun! This time, let us have some more quests for you to enhance your skills. Go on page 5 of your module and use the underlined nouns in your own sentence. The underlined words are firewood, kuya huans, audience, and sugar. Again, the underlined words are firewood, kuya huans, audience, and sugar. I will give you two minutes to finish the quest. Time starts now! all the words in sentence? Oh, yeah! Great! Can you read them for me? You're doing well! Of course, some of you may use the word firewood in a sentence this way. Mother uses firewood in cooking. You may also write that Kuya wants by is big. Or you may say, the audience clap their hands. Lastly, one of you may have written that sugar is sweet. Either way, I hope you did your best in using the nouns in your own words. Did you? Yay! 
excellence. I love that attitude. Therefore, kindly ask your parent, guardian, brother, or sister to check your sentences. Now, give yourselves 10 loud claps for a job well done. Well, well, you can already proceed to your next destination. But wait! Let's have a short recap on what the four kinds of nouns are. I will read to you some sentences taken from page 6 of your module. And you will tell me the words that are missing. Okay, let's start! We have different kinds of nouns. Blank nouns show who or what owns something. What's the missing word? Yes, it's possessive. Next, blank nouns are words for groups of people, animals, or things. What's the missing word? That's right, it's collective. Third, Blank nouns refer to the things that can be easily counted, while blank nouns are those that cannot be counted. What are the missing words? Brilliant! The first blank should be count, and the second one should be mass. Did you get all the answers correctly on this quest, kids? Yay! Very good! You are almost on the final quest! Wow! You reached this stage! To pass this quest, use the noun cup, coffee, army, and dogs to complete the sentences. Write your answers on your notebook. Ready? Yay! Number 1. The blank leash is tight. I repeat. The blank leash is tight. Number two. I love to have my blank black. I repeat. I love to have my blank black. Number three. We saw a blank by the base. I repeat. We saw a blank by the base. Number four. I received a cute blank on my last birthday. I repeat, I received a cute blank on my last birthday. So, are you now ready for the checking? Oh, yeah! Alright! Be honest in checking your papers, kids! Here are the answers. Number one. Dogs, as in, the dog's leash is tight. Number two. Coffee, as in, I love to have my coffee black. Number three. Army, as in, we saw an army by the base. Number four. Cap, as in, I received a cute cap on my last birthday. How's your score? Raise your hands and say, I did it! I did it! Raise your hands and say, I did it! If you got all four correctly, you are about to finish your journey. Let us test how much you have learned in the past quest. Are you ready? All right! This time, your task is to compose a five-sentence paragraph about the things you usually do during family reunions on a clean sheet of paper. Use appropriate possessive, collective, mass, and count nouns. I'd love to hear your outputs, but since our time for learning is almost done, I'd like you to have your English teacher check your sentences. Can you do that? Yay! Perfect! 
Since you've been also active today, you deserve a big, big hand. So let's call it a day, kids. I hope you understood our lesson. Thank you for tuning in to English Academy. On behalf of our scriptwriters, teacher Gretchen L. Gebalagin, teacher Julius D. De La Cruz, and teacher Marjorie T. Milan, together with the whole SDO Isabella RBI production team, this is your radio teacher, Miss Cyril Ann F. Banyaga, leaving you with a challenge to always wash your hands and follow safety protocols at home. Goodbye, kids! And always keep safe. Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa daan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo, Radyo, Radyo Eskwela. Ngayon 